If everyone would please rise for the invocation, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Vice Mayor Scott Maxwell. Duly noted. Our collective atheism, which is to say loving empathy, scientific evidence, and critical thinking, leads us to believe that we can create a better, more equal community without religious divisions. May we pray together. Mother Earth, we gather today in your redeeming and glorious presence to invoke your eternal guidance in the universe the original creator of all things. May the efforts of this council blend the righteousness of Allah with the all-knowing wisdom of Satan. May Zeus, the great God of justice, grant us strength tonight. Jesus might forgive our, our shortcomings, while Buddha enlightens us through his divine affection. We praise you, Krishna, for the sanguine sacrifice that freed us all. After all, if Almighty Thor is with us, who can ever be against us? And finally, for the bounty of logic, reason, and science, we simply thank the atheists, agnostics, humanists, who now account for one in five Americans, and growing rapidly. In closing, let us, above all, love one another, not to obtain mythical rewards for ourselves now, hereafter, or based on superstitious threats of eternal damnation, but rather embrace secular-based principles of morality and do good for goodness sake. I started the blog in 2006. Wes Blackman has never seen a video on his Lake Worth blog get so much attention. They did give him a chance, and because they gave him a chance, 200,000 people have seen his invocation. Nearly 200,000 people have seen four elected Lake Worth leaders leave the room as atheist Preston Smith prepares to lead an invocation. Duly noted. The mayor says her reasons for leaving have nothing to do with atheism. Other commissioners won't explain their reasoning. Now we know Smith put in his request to speak this summer, hinting he would sue if not allowed. He said his goal is to get local governments to stop praying before public meetings. Now another man has put in a request to stand at this podium and lead the invocation, this time with a satanic prayer, and he hopes no one walks out the door. We want to make a circus out of it. We want to make a fiasco out of it. We want to make it so freaking utterly ridiculous that they rethink this. Chaz Stevens says he'll make his invocation over the top, proving a moment of silence is more politically correct than a prayer. I don't want these guys to pray. I want these guys to study. I want these guys